Hello, my name is Tim here for Scarefest video part three. The final of my collectibles. Now, these are where we get into the autographs. Now, in terms of the autographs, who did I get? Well, this one was probably my favorite. The dude who plays the Crypt Keeper, or voices the Crypt Keeper, I should say. John Kassir. He is extremely nice. Uh, I had no idea about the guy's reputation. I learned about it later about how nice he is. Like, you get his autograph immediately after you take him, you get his autograph, you pay to get it. He gives you a free picture with him, and he does the Crypt Keeper voice while the picture is getting taken, and it is so funny. He's great. John Kassir is an extremely nice guy. If you do get to go to a convention and he is there, make sure you get his autograph because he's extremely likable, extremely fun. Uh, he was talking about, like, um, his love for old Universal Monster movies and stuff. He's just an extremely nice guy. He's very personal. Like, he seems like he's happy to meet the fans and really wants to meet them. He really enjoys meeting them. And, he, yeah, he was really fun. Next up, I got Lisa Wilcox's autograph, where she put rest in hell with a arrow pointing to Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street 4. Lisa Wilcox, she's my favorite Elm Street heroine. I got to meet her uh, at her booth or whatever where she was signing. And she was nice, but I will say that she seemed a little bit, I get maybe the word is like impersonal, where it was more of like a business thing. Like she's she uh, is nice to people and everything, and she uh, um, was nice to me and all that, and it was, it was enjoyable to meet her. But it was more like she was, you know, there to do the business of signing the autographs, collecting the money and all that. She wasn't like super, like, you know, warm and up close and personal like uh, like uh, John Kassir was. She was a little bit more reserved and a little bit more held back. And I think some people might see that as cold. But it's just more of like, it felt more like she was just doing like a business thing. But she was still, it was, she was still nice though. It was great to meet her. And she looked beautiful. Lisa Wilcox has aged extremely well. Still a very beautiful woman. Uh, it was great to meet her. And This one, I, I did enjoy, and I got this one last. Lisa Zane from Freddy's Dead, where she wrote her Freddy's Dead on it. That's what I told her to put on it. But I chose the one with her with the 3D glasses to get autographed. Yeah, Lisa Zane, um, she was cool. Like, Freddy's Dead is, like, is, is my least favorite of the Robert England Nightmare films. But I, I can still watch that one and have some fun with it. But Lisa Zane was really cool. Like, meeting her, she was extremely nice. She was like, thank you for coming to my booth. Um, maybe because uh, there's not a lot of fans of Freddy's Dead, or she maybe she knows that a lot of people look down on that one because of the comedy. I don't know. But she was just, like, really... She was just really nice and really, like, um, really warm to talk to. She seemed, like, happy to be there, happy to be signed the autographs and all that. Just really fun. She she's um, she was just really fun to talk to and all that. And I told her I had to pick the one with the 3D glasses, of course, and she thought that was funny. But yeah, she was cool. But we got one more here. Got this one right before I got Lisa Zane's autograph. This is another Lisa Wilcox one, except this one is my Pride and Joy one, my favorite of the, all of them. Nightmare on Street 5. I bought this big, giant poster of a Nightmare on Street 5 while I was there. Lisa Wilcox wrote on it, To Tim... I know exactly what you're up to, Lisa Wilcox Alice, which, of course, she's quoting the line from the Dream Child movie, because I told her to put, like, her favorite quotes from the movies on there, and I had I had to get it her signed four and five, because she's the star of the show in both those, and I enjoy part five still. It's a decent movie. It's enjoyable for me. Some people hate it, but I think it's decent. I, I like part five. Not as good as part four. Part four is, like, really fun, but part five is a decent, uh, enjoyable time, for me at least. But yeah, uh, that one's my pride and joy. I'm so glad I got Lisa Wilcox to sign that. I wanted to get Robert England's autograph, but he had the biggest line. There was, like, so many people there, and I didn't think about it beforehand. So if I would have gotten there early, you had to, like, get these vouchers in order to, like, even be able to get in line to get his autograph. Because they put people in, like, alphabetical order. Uh, if I would have gotten there extremely early and I would have known how packed it was going to be um, or suspected it beforehand... I probably could have gotten his autograph because I would have gotten there like the moment it opened and I would have probably gotten in like the B line and probably would have gotten his autograph. But because uh, I didn't, I ended up getting like E and so I didn't get his autograph because he had to leave early, of course. He was he, he was there though for like four hours straight signing autographs and taking pictures. And it was $120, which is kind of steep for an autograph to be honest. I love Robert England. He's great. He's, my, he's like my, one of my favorite horror heroes, if not my favorite. And he's extremely nice. Uh, but, um, $120 is steep for anybody, to be honest, any actor's autograph, 
but yeah, it was still, it would have still been, I would still have paid it though, just to get to get Robert's autograph. And he was doing pictures there with fans as well, wearing the Freddy glove, which is hilarious. I wish I could have gotten it, but I think I'm still going to get his autograph. I'm just going to order it off his website. Cause you can get him like personalized autograph for you and write something on it that you want to just by getting off his website, which is still cool. And I'm probably just going to do that. But yeah, overall, it was a fun convention. All the actors and stuff were nice and everything. There were a few that I wish I would have gotten that I didn't. Uh, if I hadn't have bought those collectible figures and stuff, I could have gotten some more autographs, but I couldn't resist getting a few figures. Um, they had the, the um, what's her name? The chick who played the psychic uh, in uh, Fire 13th Part 7. I forgot the actress's name, but she was there. I wish I could have gotten her autograph. If she is there again next year and I'm able to go next year, I will probably get her autograph next year. Um, the dude from, uh, also the guy from, uh, Weekend at Bernie's and who was also in Fire Train Part 7 as the asshole doctor was also there. That's another autograph I wish I could have gotten. And Robert Patrick, the T-1000 was there. He's also one I wish I could have gotten. And Lance Henderson was there. I wouldn't have minded him. Robert Patrick, though, is one that I wish I could have gotten. His is one I really would have wanted to have gotten because it would have been just fun to have an autograph from the T-1000. But yeah, overall, it was a fun convention. It was a good time. I'll say this, uh, it wasn't like... I wouldn't say it was like a great time. Like some, I, I heard some people like hop up conventions and stuff like that. Oh, they're like so amazing and all that. Like, no, at least, uh, at least not this one. It wasn't like amazing, but it was good. It was fun. And it was good to meet the actors and all that and sign and get autographs and all that. I had fun doing it and uh, as a fan. And they were all nice. They were all enjoyable to meet. Lisa Wilcox, still a beautiful woman. Uh, Lisa Zane looks good as well. Uh, good looking woman. I was tempted to ask her about her brother, Billy Zane, because I know she's his sister, but I didn't. I thought it would have been too silly, but uh, but maybe I should have. But yeah, she was cool. Lisa Zane's very, it was a very sweet, nice woman talking to her. If you can get her autograph at a convention, go for it, because she's really nice. Um, and especially John Kassir, he was great too. But yeah, overall, it was a very fun convention. I recommend going to it if you haven't been to it. Um, of course, it'll be like every October so if you can go like next year, um, I recommend going to it if you can. It's fun. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again.